Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Shusy Zed. You know, apparently single mothers right now are getting with each other to survive the struggle. <laughs> Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. <laughs> Joyce would be too welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Z. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. The streets are getting wild, man. They're getting wild. Single mother goes viral for speaking on the two options single mothers have and comes up with a new idea, guys. She's talking about a new idea for single mothers. She says, and I quote, you guys are not going to believe what's going to come out of my mouth here, but single mothers should date each other. Yes, this is not... <laughs> A joke there are women out here trying it doesn't even make sense if you're struggling and two mothers come to i guess rent wise i guess it makes sense if you both came to live together but if one woman is struggling to support her kids and another woman is struggling to support her kids i don't see them coming together being able to do a better job if they're both struggling <laughs> just just my math at least i don't know Trying to start a movement of single mothers dating each other. They finally figured out that the only way out of not finding a man and <laughs> cooperating, because they can't get along with men. No, you can't. <laughs> they can't find a man who will stay. So now they're deciding to band together and date one another. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. Let's get And they say, oh, I'm happy single. I'm happy by myself. I'm happy being alone. What's up with this? What's up with this? This 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 literally proves you are not happy being alone. You're not happy being single. You're not happy being by yourself. If you guys are going about this particular way. Get it. I have been a single mom for all of two years. And I have to say, I hate it. <laughs> all of two years. Please tell us more. Yeah. Mm. I don't hate being a mom. I don't hate having kids. But I hate the fact that I only had two options. Either stay in an unhealthy, dysfunctional relationship or do it all on my own. But so every relationship with a man is a dysfunctional, abusive relationship, right? She can't figure out any other man to be able to have a decent relationship with. And the other option is single. Those are your two options? Yeah, if those are your two options, I can agree. But you need to just pick better. By the way, her saying that one of her only options is to stay in a dysfunctional, unhealthy right? relationship is her saying that there is no man out there who she can properly function with. And if that is true, maybe you're the problem. Let's keep listening. <laughs> and see, when I was a stay-at-home mom, I did the cooking, the cleaning. I was a primary person in charge of taking care of the children. And here I thought that that was a totally different category than being a working mom. Also, guys, I'm sorry. I have to say, it notice how she didn't say stay-at-home wife, but said stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. As a working mom, I'm literally still doing all of the same stay-at-home mom just on a different schedule but now with the added mental stress load of how do i pay every bill by myself and that's not even the part that frustrates me what's the, the part kicker that frustrates you uh -huh. is that this is culturally normal and even embrace that if you're a single mom you're just gonna struggle and that's it like i could be on the brink of a mental i thought it was you know i'm a boss babe you know i'm all this i can take care of baby by myself i don't need no man where's all this new language coming from let's break down literally underwater telling people like i do not know how to make this better and someone will ask me what's wrong are you okay no i'm not and the response is well you know it's hard out here for everybody and i get it we all have our challenges we're all going through our own struggles but why is it culturally normal for this to be the only other option like, there is it's not the other only option what? man it's the reality it's the reality <laughs> of women who are too difficult to find a man who will cooperate with them regardless of what most guys say there are men out there who will cooperate with a single mother if she understands I think there's a lot of men out there that are willing to date single mothers. Probably not men on my channel, but there's men out there and there's decent amount of single mothers that can reciprocate wonderful value. I can also agree with this. Just not very many men and just not very many women that have that grind of value and not very many men that are willing. So.
understands that she is what? Not the prize. But these chicks think you should be honored to be a stepfather. Let's keep listening. At this point, I'm about to start dating other moms to see who wants to co-mother together. Unbelievable. Because the fact that we're all just isolated, but going through the same exact challenges at the same time just feels ridiculous. All right, so what's the real entertainment here, guys, are these comments. So imagine this. Women today are deciding to cohabitate, date one another because they can't find men who will stay. Let's check out some of these comments, man. See what the people have to say. Of course, there's going to be other single mothers who agree with this idea. First comment here says, if any single mom seeing this, I like long walks around the house. Sweet red wine and watching TikTok at 2 a.m. during my only free time she says 4000 plus likes she's seriously shooting her shot out here ready seriously. to cohabitate with any other woman who is also a single mom here's another comment that says because no one is holding the fathers accountable <laughs> it's called guys this is this it's is just like pick better men you're picking men that don't want to be fucking fathers you're picking men that you know aren't going to be around when the child's born so pick better men don't just let any man shoot up the club. It's uh, straight entertainment for you this morning. I hope you got your coffees out, man, because they <laughs> sure don't. Now, the comment here says, not just living with one another, we need to build a literal village. How are you going to do that, Pinky Pop? That's her username. How are you going? How are you single moms going to build a oh, this village is true. when you can't build a home? Yes, I said it. <laughs> you can't build a home. You can't keep a man. How are you going to build a village? That's going to take planning. Uh, you're going to have to said, figure out how you're going to ruthless. set up the infrastructure, plants. You're going to have to commit to them, right? You can't base your decisions on feelings. There has to be accountability involved in that. It's not going to happen. I kind of want to see it though, man. This should be a TV show. I was going to say that there should be a reality TV show of just nothing but single mothers in a commune somewhere off in the woods or something trying to make it. That would be hilarious to watch. It would kind of be funny. A village full of single moms. Are you kidding me, man? I would do a series and react to that on <laughs> Seriously, the top I would for sure. Here's another comment, man, from another woman that says, I saw a story of two single moms who moved in together to help each other with children, and I thought it was genius. Again, why do you think it's genius? It's one person struggling to support and take care of a kid and another person struggling to take support and take care of a kid. I guess you can switch off a little bit, but supporting the like, you're not able to support the kid and work at the same time. Oh, I guess I could see some of a benefit into it, but I still think it's a struggle. Like, I think at least if there is a man, men somewhat make a little bit more money. And if a man doesn't have kids, then it's easier. But when it's like, say, a single mom with three kids and another single mom with three kids, that's six kids now together. That's going to be tough. Comment here says, if any other mom see this, I like Starbucks. Okay, at least she drinks coffee, man. That's what's up. And watching Law and Order after putting the kids to sleep. I'm a nurse and can cook. Wow. Another comment here says, as a single mom living with my best friend who is also single mom i highly recommend here's another comment from somebody Someone's else that says, so we about to be the golden girls but in a house full of kids yes yes this is the future of women this is the future of mom and women another oh, comment here says, yes it's called sisterhood and coming together as a village i'm down this comment was brought to you by just kitten around check out that profile <laughs> pic there ladies and gentlemen finally we get to our last comment this is a man who says why not date single dads and co-parent with them oh. well because they think they're too good for these men yeah, yeah exactly. a lot of these chicks don't want to date other men with kids right yeah thought this was interesting what do you guys think what you know what i think is also funny like when in lesbian couples they still use a dildo which is a penis replacement in a sense so either way even lesbian couples somewhat need some kind of male influence in their sex life <laughs> what are the chances of something like this actually happening and not turning into a huge disaster comment down below of course i'm curious and as always i appreciate you checking out yet another episode of the coffee pot tonight that was some hilarious chow you know what i ain't stopping them like well, i have nothing to say about it you know i think if it helps them out and it helps out the children, 
why not i don't really think it is i think a village full of women that have kids is a disaster waiting to happen but if they want to do it more power to them you know like i said i don't stop anybody from doing whatever the hell they want really unless it's just like trying to murder someone then obviously but please like subscribe down below i really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time ciao